What's going on, guys? It's Chef. We're finally here. Today, we have the Call of Duty Next event, which is going to end up showing all the gameplay and stuff for Modern Warfare 3. Gameplay actually ended up releasing last night, and the general reaction to the gameplay that we were seeing was very, very positive. Some people ended up getting access to the uh, beta last night or somehow getting into the files because, you know, it was available last night, and uh, they're showing off things in private matches and stuff like that, shooting weapons and stuff like that, showing visual recoil, uh, slide canceling, jumping, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I saw people tagging uh, Call of Duty and being like, dude, why isn't Jeb there? I don't want to be there. I'm good. I don't want to. This seems absolutely dreadfully stressful. I'm not doing that shit. Now they're showing the uh, whole trailer and stuff that we already reacted to. Yeah, I remember the uh, initial reaction and what the comments and stuff were saying. I I'm sure that there will be some people just, you know, trolling, talking shit anyway. They'll just be saying things like, uh, oh, same as MW2 or something like that. But clearly it's a lot different from Modern Warfare 2. All switching over to the same engine. So maybe from a visual standpoint, things will look very similar, but I don't hate Modern Warfare 2's engine. It's just, you know, need to give us a little bit more movement. That's slow shit more speed. So if you guys are excited for Modern Warfare 3, the beta starts tomorrow. Let me know down in the comment section if you notice anything in this whole live stream that I didn't talk about. And also, if you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day. Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer, maps, core 6v6, gameplay features, movement. They have a whole section on movement. Can you give us a top line of what the community can really expect uh, in the multiplayer experience? Uh, better than Modern Warfare 2, basically. That's the entire marketing for this game. Just better than MW2. Yeah, all the new maps look really, really good. One thing I do have to say though, I, I do think that there, I hope that there's going to be some sort of ground war mode, not, and I mean classic ground war, like a, a 9v9 mode, a 10v10 mode. I really hope that that is going to be in this game and pretty quickly because overall, these maps originally on the original Modern Warfare 2 were designed with, uh, you know, 9v9 being possible in mind on every single one of those maps. If we're going to be forced to play 6v6, there might be some pacing issues on some of the maps because 9v9 actually played a lot better on certain maps that are a part of this whole you know original modern warfare 2 uh, map roster that's one thing i think people might complain about although the movement and the red dots and the flow of the map uh, definitely could be sped up a bit by that at least it's not going to be like modern warfare 2019 where like you got perma ghost and they were expecting people to play without a radar and red dots and all that shit they were saying use your compass and infinity ward is so bad i'm sorry holy shit once they have a vision there, there's no way they're going to deviate from that we're in the lobby already let's go oh people are already playing now i don't have to worry about showing any leaked gameplay from the uh, leaks and shit. Talking about maps. Um there's so much to talk corner. about, but let, let's start. Oh, yeah. I mean, it already seems faster than MW2. Oh, wow. So they got multiple games going on at once. Some people ain't even trying to win the game. They're just sitting here trying to show, like, all the mechanics that they possibly can. So one thing about this game is that we don't really know what kind of uh, attachments. We don't know what perks and stuff that they have. Uh, but we do know, however, that there is a lot of things in this game that actually do uh, affect the way that your character reacts. Slide cancel looks nice and smooth. It can be sped up. Some people are saying, oh, it looks like Modern Warfare fair too after they updated it a little bit now it's definitely faster but there are also perks you're not understanding a lot of the gear in this game all changes all of that shit high rise already, uh, got hutch of, you know the, his the audio is delayed but oh, yeah. he's just owning people the more i watch this game it's kind of like a cross between uh it's sledgehammer so it makes a lot of sense but the gunplay is reminding me of vanguard and here's the thing i know a lot of people be like ew vanguard one thing about vanguard is that the pacing and the gunplay actually felt good you guys already know if you go back to watch any of my vanguard videos where i'm just running around on dos house i mean i had an average of like 120 to 150 kills on those maps more than shipments somehow i'm not a big nuke player either i don't go for nukes and stuff but for whatever reason over on sledgehammer game ever since modern warfare 3 with the moabs and uh the v2 rockets over on world war 2 i would always drop nukes on sledgehammer games it just would always happen so i'm looking forward to it oh, we got sub base right here quarry got afghan sub base we got scrapyard of course scrapyard got some terminal right here wasteland Karachi underpass invasion ttk also kind of reminds me of vanguard a little bit although you guys already know i'm just gonna be spamming hardcore anyway get the easiest long shots possible and we're seeing the perks down at the bottom over here uh, let's see hold on it's a signal that disrupts placed enemy claymores and mines warns of nearby enemy equipment faster field upgrade recharge and then you got the perks down here you got some gloves over here some boots when these maps first came out in 2009 
hard point did not exist. Yeah. Kill yeah. confirmed did not exist. Right. Okay. I'm so glad that they can recognize that. How do these maps even work with hard point? I love how good the gunplay looks. I love the yellow text that's popping up. I like the style of it. Very, very arcadey. This guy's movement speed is much lower. Whatever it is that he's running on the weapon that he's using. And he has a ride shield on his back. Interesting. Then we got the dates over here. Obviously, I'm going to be playing every single one of those days. All the PlayStation days and then all the crossplay days. Power Duck enters the fray. Wait, this guy got Juggernaut. This guy is Juggernaut with a shotgun and a ride shield on his back. This dude is unkillable. Okay, so obviously we got all these great OG maps. A great base for the game. Oh, he's just running through them. Hopefully the jug's not too easy to get. We know that we're going to have a nice strong base for maps. And then, you know, we'll see however the, uh, you know, a new additional maps are. And if they suck, well, then we just go back to the maps that we like. And also there's map voting in the game. You can vote. We're going to see it in yep. a lot of but map voting is yeah. back. Good. Yeah, massive. So if we hate a map, we're skipping. I'm coming in the lobby and I'm going to scream at everybody. Please skip. Dude, some people look like they are locked in. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. We got Lupa looking at some classes. We got gloves, boots, gear, equipment, like I was talking about. We got lightweight boots. Unfortunately, his camera's covering the description of it, but they're the same thing as perks. This is the main lobby right here. Lupo just searching for a mosh pit and yeah, all right. Lobby looks good. I've been using the tack pads. <laughs> the lightweight boots. We have yeah, they were saying tack pads allow you to slide further and faster or shit like that oh man yeah i mean you can just see the movement it's immediately already faster than uh, mw2 even without all the sliding we got the red dots on the mini map modern warfare 3 Bop. we really want to make sure that people know Bop. where the firefights are Bop. happening i can tell once they uh, add that rust 24 7 or whatever it's i already know i'm going to be playing this a lot slide animation cancel reload animation yes. cancel they're both back yep yeah, beautiful yeah, so, so you're not locked into your shitty reload not in a game like call of duty please stop talking about perfect timing the reload and all that shit stop the whole term already around it the whole cod timing stop slowing the game down but rather than 100 health we have 150 health across all of our players okay so that's okay. got parity with warzone so that I don't is hate parity that. with warzone what's True. currently live in warzone and what we've also done with that time to kill so what you're going to notice is it's much more consistent across the board so we're going to uh, we've eliminated yep. some of these spikes that we've had in the past because our modifiers, so we have oh, modifiers melee. on your, when you get a headshot, it, it does more damage. When yep. you do a limb shot, it does less damage. So we've kind of normalized those and closed the gap between them. Mm -hmm. And what that allows for you as okay, a player is experience where it's consistent. So when you're putting bullets on target, it is now like you get that feeling, you get that rhythm back into your game to combat and start to feel. Yeah, it just looks so good once somebody starts like getting locked in and they just start shooting. The chat's just saying shit like they're just yapping. It's like, dude, you came here. All that feedback to be ass at the game too. You're all terrible. Sweet, there it is. There's a tax stance right there. Oh, we got the tax stance. Boom, boom. A bit of a sub where you can kind of like push. Sniper rifle, boom. Be able to run a longer gun. So it's being able yeah, to take that, that like in and then going to slide cancel, thing that going they got. to tax stance yep. inside, tax indoors, stance, whatever going you want to call it. I don't know how much I'm going to end up utilizing it, but hopefully I will. Does it work kind of like uh, like how Apex kind of has it, where like if you're sliding, it's kind of there like that? There's going to end up being like some kind of mechanics with it that's going to like somehow speed up the slide canceling or uh, when you're sliding down hills, shit like that. Kind of like momentum based. 6v6 Rush shows a lot of fast gameplay. The I'm worried about a couple of the other maps, like 6v6 on sub base. It didn't play that well in the original. I can't imagine it's going to play that well now. The two sniper rifles that ended up leaking last night from like gameplay or whatever. It was weird. They kind of look like ARs. They got, look, it's got 25 shots in it. It's got the car 98 like sight on it. It's a one shot. I'm pretty sure it's also bolt action. It just bolts really, really fast. Everything just looks fast on this game. Way faster than MW2. And then also in comparison to Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2019, remember at launch, they didn't even have a radar. Camos, you got your Orion. That's yeah. coming with But don't too. worry, the grind is still there for the Modern Warfare 3 weapons because it has grind. its own set of completionist camos as well. Yes, sir. Uh, that you can go in and, and grind your heart out for those. Uh, yep. And go ahead and get those. You know, okay, now show zombies. I'm curious about the zombies thing because it was also leaked that there's uh, zombies and there's also a uh, regular camo grind there. So there's two mastery grinds. At least that's what the menu looks like. The menu, there was uh, some gameplay leaked of some ACR. In the menu, it says, just like Vanguard, it had a category for like just the regular multiplayer camos for the general weapon, the general challenges. And then there was a second tab that said MWZ for zombies. So if there is a mastery camo on zombies, for example, I really hope that it's not going to be a painful experience given there's no way that it can be worse than Vanguard. Vanguard.
Surely. Three and like really oh, trying. Oh yeah, it's been was that? Yeah. Oh man. Detail weapon stats, we'd like that. I prefer the detailed weapon stats. Now here's the thing. <laughs> is there gonna be like some weird caveats where that detailed weapon stat thing is actually incorrect? Hopefully not. You probably won't be able to shake the common complaint of like, oh, this just looks like an update to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but I think people will actually definitely feel the difference. I think they're only seeing it visually at the moment, but I think the more that people are gonna watch and the more that people are gonna play this game, the more they're gonna recognize that it's definitely different from Modern Warfare 2. Because there is always a difference between how Sledgehammer games just play and feel in comparison to how Infinity Ward and also comparison to Treyarch. There is still a fundamental difference that they design their games differently. Even if they are on the same engine and stuff, they still have different visions. Sledgehammer always has a lot of speed, lots of feedback. All the dev teams have their, you know, positives and negatives. It's part of the whole Call of Duty player experience. Well, one thing about the reactive skins, to your point, these are performance driven, so that effect actually will scale back if you stop getting killed. Oh, interesting. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Black Ops 4 probably did the best with, like, reactive camos but it, they didn't downgrade you got some estate right here uh, on top of that uh with dolphin dive off told you it was there told you it was in the game we got the uh created class right there which looks very similar to the vanguard one there's something about the text it looks just like vanguard real tall skinny sharp now i think that there is a jump ads penalty but there are gloves that will actually uh get rid of that penalty entirely there's just a lot of choice with it oh wow i'm surprised she survived another thing that people do that is kind of disingenuous is that they compare the updated version of a certain game to the new version of another game like modern warfare 2019 is an entirely different game on launch than it was you know by the time it was updated and everything entirely different game vanguard as well cold war as well so whenever you compare these games if you're going to compare the launch version of this and compare it to the launch version of modern warfare 2019 compare it to the launch of modern warfare 2 this game from a starting standpoint is the best we've had uh mechanic oh yeah they got a lot going on too i mean it's 200 and something players with 200 something ring lights places like this is literally nightmare fuel looking at this fucking ring light i'm losing my mind yeah you can definitely see the vanguard and a lot of the uh sight options in this game i actually really like the vanguard sights so it, it's nice though because the sights on the uh, sniper rifles look a lot like the uh the car 98 from modern warfare 2019 which is odd it's just attached to an admittedly pretty ugly sniper rifle. Although we did see that one big ass beefy sniper rifle that, that genuinely looks like a sniper rifle, like a ZRG or some shit. Super clean picture. Uh, the visual recoil is not insane. There's not a bunch of smoke and bullshit. You don't have to worry about sitting around waiting a couple weeks for them to fix that. There's some people up on the crane off on the side of the map if they're not noticing. If you look over at the radar, I'm so happy the red dots actually work properly. I'm so happy we're not just dealing with just stupid shit. Because for a lot of years, we had a lot of like base understanding in the game. It's just something things would change mechanically. We wouldn't have the things that we knew and loved like movement and radar and things like that being affected we wouldn't have we wouldn't even worry about that kind of shit but now since everybody's on the same engine and stuff hopefully they'll take the things that they know work best from all the dev teams and start creating like just the best shit that they possibly can across the board Tessie apparently got a six on frame rates choppy that's just the stream though oh man oh sniping oh no oh my god oh my it's already happening look at this he it's already over man gg there has to be a reason why they're avoiding zombies the zombies might be a mess uh-oh <laughs> i'm gonna play it anyway because i gotta get the camo people looked at me like i was crazy for playing the vanguard one if i can play the vanguard one i can do this one telling me i gotta do a whole camo grind in something that's kind of like dmz or something that's kind of like fire team dirty bomb or whatever over on cold war what are we talking about gonna be schmoozing in this game like you may have never moved before i was telling people i told them there are boosts that help with jump ads i just don't know about b hopping itself like how often can you just hop off of a hop off of a hop here's over five minutes of call of duty modern warfare 3 zombies gameplay Okay, so it's like open world zombies and you just go to like spot to spot and then farm the zombies there now this is also a pve mode it's not pv pve it is strictly pve i don't know how many other players are allowed in this whole thing or what so i guess i just run around and farm zombies like this this is a squad of six people wait what the fuck got some big ass dude what the fuck is that oh man if the camel grind is get like you know 2,000 5,000 kills on zombies in this mode it's gonna be a long one this camel better be good 
That's all I'm gonna say. It better be a good camo. No way they can make something worse than the Vanguard Dark Aether. There's no way. Oh, so you can form a super team. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like oh, yeah. in-game form a super yes. team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. And that's eight squads of three. You can group yeah. up together. You can go lone wolf it. Okay. I don't know if I'd recommend that, guys, from what I've I mean, experienced players. <laughs> if, if, you, if you want a challenge, you can go in solo, but it is a lot of fun. Well, I'm telling you right now, I'm going solo, because there are a lot of solo zombies players, so them saying that, like, you're going to want a squad is kind of... I hope not. That shit looks cool. Hopefully, maybe that's the camo. Maybe the camo will look like that. So this is a zombies intro mission. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna spawn in and then try to find like a really good like looping area and just farm zombies for however long it takes to get my camo. Now, nah, fucking objective. I'm just farming. Okay. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, yeah. fuck. Shit's like a fire. laser. It launches you. Alright, you're just shooting so you in -game. Boom! Uh, so if you're familiar with DMZ. We have contraband weapons, so everything you're you're finding in the match, you can take out and bring it with you. We have, Item persistence. Yes. Yeah. We have yeah, insurance okay. slot. We'll see how that works. Uh, I'm really hoping it's not a thing where like I'd have to go into a game and then find like this particular LMG in order for me to start working on it. Hopefully, I can just spawn in with whatever weapon I feel like. Um, obviously, the wonder weapons will be things that I can find and look for, but like I feel like my base weapon should just be something that I select right off rip, right? Okay, so there are regular NPCs as well that like run around with like regular guns and stuff like that. And then once they get, I assume, infected by the uh, Dark Aether Storm thing, whatever, uh, then they would also turn into zombies. All right, Battle Royale next. All right, they showed some multiplayer, zombies, now the Warzone. MP looks so good. Does it matter, though? 90% of the fan base will be playing Warzone. I think you're off on that. 90%? No. Especially after MW2 burned everybody with a Warzone in that spot? No, no way. 90%? That's just wrong. Also, you're terrible. Apparently, Noah J said that the zombies camo can actually be equipped on the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, which is odd. There's also an image that's going around of a bunch of calling cards with assuming that they are the actual zombies camos, potentially. One of them looks like this some weird red scaly thing. Another one looks like some blue star thing. Another one with like cobwebs. And another one with like some weird, I don't know, nebula looking thing. I, I can't even tell. The blue star one looks the coolest. Uh, new map is right here. Looks super nice down there. The farms, low town, old town cargo power big tower that's the one that has overwatch on it overwatch there it is just like it overwatch from modern warfare 3 warzone new map new gameplay launch content and future maps i remember when everybody was playing uh warzone 2 man people looked so physically disgusted and ill in the face cams i remember that shit now everybody's locked in here but to see that uh uh, I guess the, with the word oh, yeah. parody, I guess I'm thinking of just basically seeing how continuity. like the, yeah, continuity. Yeah. Oh yeah, no terrible uh, inventory system that's like fucking everything up, not messing the flow up for people. It looks nice and fast. The map looks so like open but clear. It's busy but it's not too cluttered. There's not giant mountains now. There, there's some hills and shit like that, but there's no actual like full blown insane 90 degree vertical wall. It's just not a thing. New gulag. The, uh, I think it's normal. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but that. what's interesting uh, about the gulag? is we've gone back to this three lane uh, experience that we've had. So this is the brand SDG. new Gulag. Oh, I hope solos are not ass on this game. I cannot stand watching his team shit. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Redeployed balloons are there. Map looks so good. We like that. Oh, there's a train as well. Just moving. Is that a guardian on the train? Wait, what does that do? They saw the handbrake yesterday. You can like, stop it the on the train. Oh, wow. If you push the okay, that's cool. Carriage. You can go forward, backward, you speed. Can but the nuance that are- the Wait, we like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm most excited for multiplayer, but multiplayer looks really good, real great. Uh, zombies looks, it looks good. I'm gonna have to play it myself to see, you know, how deep it is or how fun it is overall. But I could totally see it not being too bad. I mean, at least they're not trying to pass it off as like, you know, oh, this is round base, this is this, this is that, and uh, kind of have, kind of be like an insult to actual zombies. It's its own thing, and uh, you know, I'll just, see how it goes and then warzone actually looks really solid hopefully all the quality of life things that were all over in modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 whatever um all carry over to this the movement and stuff will be nice it's not gonna be as slow the ghost isn't perma ghost it's just yeah it seems nice gulag is nice <laughs> well let's simple see three lane down let's see if they push well they're pushing hits them a couple times you're gonna have an opportunity Five for it i'll push the round real quick no! man people are moving this is the og gulag this is what we're we're gonna be playing most of the yep, time in the, in the yep. three lanes but Ted, for the first time, there might be some 
other gulags. Yes. So Wait, what? Maybe right on cue, we'll see the night vision gulag. Look no at that way. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is something that can... I mean, that's not terrible. At least it's not 2v2 gulag with a fucking juggernaut that spawns in. Terrible idea. Okay, and here's the Wait, you can just grapple out? If you can get on it and you can get out, you can be shot on the way up. You can be shot uh, from, from below. But you can like, just you can leave. Also, uh, get off of it yeah, and make yeah, a play as well? Yeah, make a play. Oh, shit. Okay, I could totally see some absolute BM shit that people will do. Zip line trick shot. It just seems like the game is a lot more free i like it i mean look at the dolphin dive modern warfare 2.5 yeah straight up a better version of the game mw2 should be seen as a fucking insult but it's fixed now now remember that the next time you're gonna go and buy an infinity war game remember that they didn't listen for shit only thing that made them start making any changes was when the player count dropped exponentially and they still have more players than they deserve they listen to anybody for shit i mean yeah you guys get the gist of it though i mean that's modern warfare 2 that's warzone 2 i'm just excited to play i'm just excited for the multiplayer i'm excited for the beta tomorrow i'm gonna obviously be making a video on it I'm gonna make a video and upload a video every single time for all of the days that this whole thing is available i'll be playing on the ps5 uh, tomorrow and then i'll be playing on pc next weekend is there anything in here that you like anything that you dislike let me know down in the comment section and uh yeah it's been jeb guys later